there might be times when you actually want to edit a, a document in your desktop version of Office rather than the online version of Office 365. And this could be because your desktop version has some more features of it. What we can do is just go into our OneDrive in Office 365 and physically open up whatever document we want and then just choose to open it in the desktop version. So for example, I'm just going to pick this one assignment that we did earlier. And once I have this pulled up, I'm going to go to the top right and I'm going to select Edit Document. And I can choose to edit it in Word or just edit it in the browser if I want. In this case, I'm going to open it in Word. Sometimes you might get a window that pops up and says, what do you want to open this file? And most of the time you're just going to pick whatever Microsoft Office 2013 or whatever version you have. I'm just going to click OK. And then typically it takes a couple seconds till the document wants to load up in Word. And it's trying to communicate back and forth so it can save the changes that we make. So right now I just have one sentence that says this is my paragraph. So I'm just going to hit enter a couple times and say here is another paragraph. And then I'm just going to go to the top left. I'm going to hit save. And right now I can see on the bottom here it's uploading to my OneDrive. I can close that document down again. All right. If I want to open up my um, document in OneDrive here, I'm just going to say that I want to edit it now in the browser. And those updates that I just did should be able to show up right away. I can see that I added that second sentence and it automatically did that for me. So this is basically how you can use this to keep all your files online so they're backed up and safe and still be able to use the Word and the other functions of Office on your desktop to make any necessary changes that you want.